One of the most exciting new features in 11.1.7 is the release of the brand new IBM Cognos Analytics app. With the new app, you can receive the data you need on the go. You can receive proactive notifications of key changes to your data and even share visualizations. You can use the AI assistant to use natural language to perform analysis on the fly. At the moment, the app is compatible with Apple devices on the CA cloud hosted and on demand environments and no extra license is required. You can download the app and just get started. Let's summarize the three ways of looking at data on a mobile device. Firstly, there is the IBM Cognos reporting app. This has been in use for a number of years and is compatible with Android and iOS phones. It supports both online and offline active reports and standard reports. It now has a new name and a number of recent performance improvements. You can use the Safari browser on an iPad and use virtually all the features of Cognos Analytics just like you would from a regular browser. However, legacy studios such as Analysis Studio and Query Studio are not supported. Finally, we have the all new Cognos Analytics mobile app, which I'm about to show you. This is an iOS native app and is perfect for accessing dashboard visualizations on the go. So let's get on with the demo. Logging on for the first time is incredibly simple. Download the app from the Apple Store and once installed, point your phone at the QR code to log on. Speaking from experience, it's a very simple and secure way of connecting. Once you've scanned the QR code, there is a verification code that you simply add to your phone and you're in. From now on, all you have to do is click on the app to log on. Once you have logged on, the app is incredibly straightforward to use. There are four tabs shown at the bottom of the screen. Boards, Content, Notification and Assistant. Firstly, let's have a look at Boards. Boards are a new mobile optimized way to view visualizations on a mobile phone and pins are visualizations taken from existing dashboards. This is a pin board I've created based on pins taken from the sample dashboard called Auto Group Executive Dashboard. As you can see, the app is highly responsive and you can filter and interact with the visualizations. Now I'll show you how easy it is to create a new board for my line manager to review. Using the content tab at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to search for the policy analysis sample dashboard and start pinning some of its visualizations to a new board called policies. I can search for the dashboard in the content tab and it opens on the first tab. You can quickly see that the dashboard has been deconstructed into a series of individual visualizations and you can pick and choose which ones you add to your board. Click on the pin icon at the top of the screen to pin this to a new or existing board. We are going to quickly add some more relevant content and as you can see it's really easy to scroll from one tab to another and add new pins to boards. And then I'm going to add a Mapbox map visualization which represents the number of policies by state. I'm also going to add a spiral and the sunburst visualization to the board. The spiral and the sunburst show me the key drivers or predictors for a given target, which in this instance is our customer lifetime value metric. Cognos Analytics uses sophisticated algorithms to deliver these insights, and as well as describing in natural language the key drivers for customer loyalty, in my opinion, they also look great on a mobile phone. So now we have a board, let's share some of this content with my colleague. After clicking on the icon, which looks a bit like a loudspeaker, I can select Manage Viewers and share with groups or with individual users. And when they open the app, they will be able to see this board on their list. The search is clever enough to pick up Sasha's or Alexandra's formal name. Now let's look at the notification element of the app. Notifications are alerts you receive on your mobile device in response to change data. So when there's an important change or difference in your data, users get targeted push notifications. Let's say it's coming up to month end and I really need to keep a close eye on my monthly sales figures. I would really like to know when these figures have changed against my targets. 
Very easily, I can click on the alert icon and add an alert which will notify me if monthly sales are less than £2.9 million. I can alert on different measures and also have multiple alerts per widget. I can then set a notification schedule so that I can receive an alert at any time of my choosing. To do this, I click on the calendar icon, toggle on allow notifications and set this to alert me at 10am daily. In this example, I'd like to be notified when total sales are less than 2.9 million. As you can see, the data has changed and I receive a notification on my mobile device. Looking at the KPI visualization, you can see that a significant data change has triggered this alert, as the monthly sales are now showing as £2.6 million, which is over 10% below the weekly goal. This alert will continue to be triggered once a day as per the schedule, as long as monthly sales stay below the threshold of £2.9 million. The last part I'd like to show you is how simple it is to explore your data and create new boards using the Cognos AI Assistant and a few simple voice commands. Firstly, I'm going to ask the AI Assistant to use the Automobile Group Data Source by saying Use Auto Group Data. This provides a list of relevant fields from the data source. Because I'm interested in car sales, and I'm going to ask the question what drives quantity sold? Straight away, I'm presented with a list of interesting fields, and by clicking on Profit, for example, I can start to explore the data. Profit by Quantity Sold is a useful visualization, which I can add to a new board called Sales Analysis. can then click on show related visualizations and continue to find new insights such as profit by zip code which is a map box map visualization or profit and quantity sold by city which is a combination chart all these can be added to the new board I'm going to add two extra line charts called profit by month followed by quantity sold by month to the board And there we have it, a new board called Sales Analysis, created using the Cognos AI Assistant. Well that brings me to the end of this demo, showing you how to receive the data you need on the go.